The president of Russia, Vladimir Putin, has accused Ukraine of launching a large-scale provocation amid what Moscow says is the second day of raids inside Russian territory. This evening, a state of emergency has been declared in the border region of Kursk. And earlier on, Putin convened a meeting of his defence officials claiming civilian buildings in Russia had come under attack. So far, Ukraine has remained silent. Well, our chief foreign editor, Rob Parsons, is with me to unpack this story. Rob, um, what do we know this evening as to what appears to be happening, particularly in that region of Kursk? Well, I mean, the first thing to say is that Vladimir Putin quite clearly has no sense of irony whatsoever. Mm. This is, that the president of a country that's invaded Ukraine has been fighting inside Ukraine for the last two years, has destroyed huge amounts of the country. And he talks about a large-scale provocation mm. on the part of the Ukrainians, which amounts to very little more than a pinprick on the global scale of things. But over the last couple of days, the Ukrainians have certainly uh, given the Russians a cause for a moment of panic, judging by their reaction. Started on Tuesday morning was an incursion which the Russians said involved about 300 Ukrainian troops. The first time that regular Ukrainian troops have crossed into Russia. We've had incursions before by Russian irregulars fighting on the, on the Ukrainian side. This is the first time Ukrainian regular troops have done this. The Russians then claimed later on Tuesday that they got things under control, that they pushed them back, inflicted heavy losses. And then suddenly, you know, they, they started backtracking because... Russian military bloggers started telling a completely different story about fighting carrying on through the night. And then on Wednesday morning, early today, uh, more stories of fighting going on and even of progress by Ukrainian troops in the two directions which they've chosen, chosen to move on. They, they crossed and established a front of about 10 to 12 kilometres. Some troops seem to have moved up to the, the northwest and others towards the, the small village of Suja, which is a district administrative centre. They appear to have surrounded Russian troops there. Uh, and the, there is complete panic on the Russian side. How significant this is is, is another matter. You know, we're talking now, even at the, the largest estimate by the Russians, of about 900 Ukrainian troops backed by tanks, probably about 30, 40 tanks and armoured personnel carriers. That's about battalion strength. You know, if it stays at just battalion strength, they'll have to retreat pretty quickly as the Russians bring in reinforcements, mm. which they are doing in a rather chaotic fashion at the moment. But whatever the case, they've certainly created panic on the Russian side, created embarrassment on the Russian side, and forced Vladimir Putin to go public with his chief of uh, staff, General Gerasimov, uh, and explain what on earth is happening. Mm. Well, you mentioned earlier that this appears to be the first time that the Ukrainian army has carried out an attack on this scale inside Russia. Yeah. So why are they doing it? Why now? The first thing to say is we don't really know yeah. at this stage because the Ukrainians haven't said a single word about it, neither the government nor the Ukrainian armed forces. But you know, it, it, it is rather reminiscent of what the Ukrainians did a few months ago on the east bank of the uh, Dnieper River, just across from the city of Kherson. They moved in a few hundred troops there, not enough to, to cause serious embarrassment to the Russians, but they sucked in Russian troops and caused a lot of casualties. And I suspect that that is perhaps the prime motivation for what they're doing at the moment. They've been having a hard time along most of the front over the last, over the summer months, effectively. And in, in the last couple of weeks, we've seen the Russians continuing incremental progress in the Donetsk area, with Russian troops entering the un unlikely sounding town of New York today. Uh, and this is a way of pushing back, forcing the Russians to move troops away from the central areas mm. to more peripheral areas so that they can't keep up the momentum in areas like Donetsk. That is probably the main motivation. Mm. Also, of course, it's great for Ukrainian morale to be on the front foot for once rather than on the back foot. Great to get your expertise as always. Rob Parsons, thanks very much.